All right, here we are at our 1986 Harbor Master. This is a 14 by 47 foot fiberglass houseboat for sale. We're here on the fresh waters of actually the Tennessee River. This is the Lake Loudoun section of the Tennessee River. We are adjacent to downtown Knoxville, Tennessee, and this covered slip that we're sitting under is transferable if you would like to keep it here. There is internet and cable available right here in this slip. And as you can see, we're not even occupying all of that this slip can hold. We're here for our video walkthrough tour. And as all, always, I will refer you to our, our website for the full list of features on this one, as well to find the current asking price. We don't mention the asking price in the video tours because they will often change until the listing is sold. This is a twin engine inboard powered boat believed to be about a three or four owner boat and uh, its life is also thought to have taken place entirely in fresh waters current owner brought this boat up from the Chattanooga area when they purchased it in about 2016 and while I'm going over the history of it I should also go ahead and point out so I don't forget last bottom paint was reported about 2015 we do have a windless anchor up here on the bow this is often referred to as a capstan anchor it's basically an electric anchor it's going to do the lifting of that anchor for you up here on the bow we've got a fly bridge i mean you can drive it from upstairs we're here for a video walkthrough tour got catwalks down either side again it's a 14 by 47 footer we're gonna step inside here now the current owner has purchased their next boat. So everything that you see in the video tour will transfer with this one. Everything's gonna stay here. And that, that starts with this Element 40 inch HD television right here in this lawn area. It's kind of sitting atop a little storage area. Got a small little suctional sofa here in the main salon. And here's your lower helm right here. We've got some beautiful hardwood floors throughout this one. This one's been updated through the years and it shows very well it appears to be a very clean well cared for well maintained houseboat all right so i'll start stop doing my 360s here at the helm station i also want to point out we've got some electric heaters on this boat this has two 1500 watt little electric wall mount heater units and then just overhead, we've got a pair of roof air conditioning units. Now this is the first unit up here in the forward part of the boat. There's another one in the master stateroom. This one's a Dometic. I believe that's a 15,000 capac uh, 15, cooling capacity BTUs. And that was replaced in 2016. All right, back to our helm area here. We've got dual controls. You've also got a Clarion. AM, FM, CD, auxiliary input, satellite ready stereo. You've got a remote start and a power transfer switch for your generator right there. And then back up to the helm area. This one is equipped with the Fireboy automatic fire suppression system. You've got full engine instrumentation for both engines. You've got a small little um, engine synchronizer right here. And basically what that's gonna do, it's gonna be a quick reference point for the RPM on both engines. This is basically a uh, 1986 vintage version of a CO detector that's going to sniff for fumes and things like that. Hummingbird depth finder integrated here at your helm as well. It's a rudder angle indicator gauge. Fuel gauge, engine temp, engine oil pressure, battery volts, tachometer for both engines. And there's one hour meter for both engines. Thought is that's probably hooked to one engine and it's going to be a good reference point for both. But that's showing 2,002.7 hours for both of those engines. We've got a Horizon VHF radio just right here at the helm as well, and that's a remote spotlight control. Spotlight sits up on the upper level. A generator while we're here is showing 3,206 hours. That's a 7.5 kW Kohler generator. Now 
time, before I step down to the galley area, I'm going to go down into the forward berth. Sometimes this is called a cuddy. And we've got a pair of double beds up here in this forward cuddy. These are custom mattresses. They're right about, uh, let's see, I believe it was four feet, four inches wide. And that sits on, it's basically a, a nine inch thick piece of memory foam. Got some 12 volt and 110 light in here. And I also want to point out while I'm here, you see this, this carpeting just needs glued back down to your wall sides. They use this, again, this is 1980, 86 vintage. And that's just what they used on the, uh, on the walls in these boats. When they were built new, I stuffed those sheets a little bit. But we've also got a, um, a window, as you can see, on each side. It's gonna let in some natural lighting. A little storage cabinet's been added. There's another little closet right behind there. And then in this large closet, sits your 19.9 uh, gallon or 20 gallon electric hot water heater. And then that's a chemical um, input for your marine toilets. It's a rare tan system with the pure sand unit. The pure sand unit is basically um, treat your wastewater and then it goes overboard, which is permitted here on the Tennessee River. So here's your first of two heads. This is basically a one and a half bath boat, with two bedrooms. Bathrooms have been updated very nicely. Another uh, window right here in your forward half bath or head as it's often referred to in the proper nautical terms. A little built-in medicine cabinet, with some newer lighting, nice backsplash and tile floors in this head compartment as well. Right, close that. So here's one last look at these these double beds. This is what's what's in the houseboat world. It's called a cuddy cabin. It's kind of below the floor level. And then basically we take these four steps back up and we're right on the main salon level where we started when we first walked in through our side entry door. All right, so now we're gonna head down into the galley area. Three steps take you down to the galley. We've got this dinette table, large window next to it, little overhead storage cabinet, getting some updated lighting on this. And some large storage closets. You've got your uh, 110 power panels right in there. Got some shelves that have been added, and then that's a hanging closet in there as well. And again, everything that's in this boat is remaining with it. So you've got a small little dish, glass set, some uh, small silverware sets included as well. And then this is basically just access to this cutty bedroom. You can't crawl through there can also leave that open to uh, get some air circulation. Um, you've got a small, let's see where was right here, small little storage bin there. And then this is your galley area. We've got all electric appliances here. You've got a uh, double stainless sink, built-in microwave or over-the-range microwave. And then we've got a galley made. This is a three burner electric oven and range. bar that's that you see on this range you can flip that back right there this is basically a, a marine oven and range and that bar is actually there as per regulations to prevent um, a pot or a pan that you had on the range top from sliding off while you're underway electric refrigerator and freezer with the built-in ice maker We've got a small storage hatch in the floor right here, and that's mostly an access hatch to get to your uh, fresh water and your waste hole and things. So this has a pure, and, and the pure sand system is actually underneath that hatch as well. 
It says a pure sand system and a waste holding tank. That waste holding tank is not being used. But if you went to a reservoir in which that was required, you'd have the option of switching your uh, your waste system over and you'd switch them back to that uh, waste holding tank. But um, that's estimated about a 30 gallon aluminum waste holding tank. And we've got an estimated 50 gallon on board freshwater tank. Another little storage cabinet right here. That's probably more of an access panel than anything else, but it can be used for storage. Now, there's also uh, another 1500 watt uh, wall mount electric heater just below that access panel. That one's not working. So we're listing this as, as basically two um, electric 1500 watt heaters. We've got uh, one up in the, by the up, uh, lower helm where I just showed you a few moments ago. And then the other one's back in the master stateroom, which we'll see here in a few. So the bathroom, this is your full bath where you've got another vanity with a storage cabinet or medicine cabinet just above it. You've got a little bit of accent lighting just below that medicine cabinet. Here's your second of the two Raritan heads. That's a newer model Raritan head. And then we've got a shower right here. Open this up for you. A really clean listing here. Again, the hardwood floors throughout. And the other thing I want to show you about this bathroom is you've got two entry points. Okay, so you can enter in through the master stateroom, and master the master bedroom's got a door that's going to close off here, and you can enter in that bathroom through there, as well as the door I just used here off your galley area. Now we're going to go into the master stateroom. This is a queen size master bed. Your second of two roof air, uh, roof air conditioning units overhead on this one. I uh, didn't see a date code on this. This one's a Duotherm Brisk Air. That's a uh, 13,500 cooling BTU capacity. And this queen size bed is slanted just a little bit to allow uh, to be accessible on both sides of the bed as opposed to being shoved against the wall. You've got some storage built in underneath the master bed as well as that uh, nightstand with the little storage there. So I'm gonna point that out as well. You've got um, two hatches on this side. There's another hatch or two, I think at the uh, foot and the other side of the bed. Got a lot of windows back here in the master bedroom. And this is a 32 inch Philips LCD television with a, a combo DVD slash VHS player or VCR. Hanging closet back here in your master stateroom. I'll point that out to you as well. A shelf overhead. You got some cabinets overhead on both your port and starboard sides. And two uh, stereo speakers back here. There are a total of six speakers with that AM, FM, CD, auxiliary input stereo that I pointed out earlier up by the lower helm. You've got two of those up near the galley area, two back here in the master stateroom, and then another two up at the flybridge upstairs, which is where we're going to be heading, heading next. Now you can use this um, these steps and go right out the um, the door here, and I'm going to opt to walk back through the galley area and go out the side entry door. While I'm heading back to the um, engine room, it'd be a good time to remind you again, full list of specifications for this one will be at our website, www.yournewboat.com, as well as the asking price. Our website's very easy to navigate. I promise you, you won't get lost there. Um, you're only gonna be looking at our uh, locally listed boats in our area. If you take the time, open up a new window, type in www.yournewboat.com. You'll see that orange lettering. That means you're at the right place. And you'll look for the Find Your New Boat button in the top left-hand corner of the page. You click that button, it's going to load all of our inventory and order price. So all you got to do is scroll down until you get to the 1986 Harbor Master 14 by 47 fiberglass houseboat for sale. Again, here on the Tennessee River near Knoxville. All right, so now we got the engine hatch raised. First thing I want to point out, we've got this giant 195-gallon aluminum fuel tank. And all three of these uh, pieces of equipment are sharing that uh, 
that fuel tank. And I'm gonna step down and get you a better look here. This is our 7.5 kW Kohler generator. Again, just over 3,000 hours showing on it. And then here's your Crusader Marine uh, 350 V drive. I mean, your transmission's coming out of the engine, going up to the bow of the boat, and then it's going through a V-drive transmission, and then basically doing a 180, um, passing through a uh, little packing, and then uh, prop shaft goes straight out the boat to, uh, to a propeller, rudder behind it. You can see that rudder control right there. Very well organized engine room back here. Got some tools, spare parts, kind of throughout. And here's your starboard side engine. These uh, these Crusaders are rated at, uh, I believe, about 270 horsepower each. Um, got a little bit of your, your nameplate over here on this manifold. And yeah, here it is. Here's your 270 is the model on that Crusader. Raritan onboard battery charger. Got three batteries. One for each engine. One for the generator. Generator one was uh, last replaced 2018. And see a date on these uh, these engine batteries. And uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna probably do it for uh, for the engine room. I'll crawl back out of here. Really impressed with the cleaning cleanliness of that engine room, but really the the entire boat on this one. All right. Here's your extended swim platform, swim boarding ladder. That uh, actually flips down. You get three steps down into the water and then two steps to get back here onto this deck level. Charbroil commercial stainless gas grill. And there's your catwalk on either side now. Here in just a moment, we're gonna take uh, two videos to finish this video tour off. So here in a moment, uh, you actually, right about now, now I'll just pause it right here and wait for you to get transitioned over to the uh, part two of this video tour. Right about now, you'll see the link for part two popping up in the top right-hand corner of this video. So if you just click that link, I'm not going to mention anything else about the boat. I'll let you uh, click that link, and then uh, you can rejoin everything in part two here in just a moment.